Hi everyone, it's Miriam. Welcome to this week's experiment. So today I'm going to try a small resin pour using a few different things to color the resin. The main thing I want to try out are my new PBO paints. Now PBO's fantasy line, their moon and prism paints, are solvent-based paints that create special effects like a honeycomb or hammered look. And their vitriol line was created mainly to paint on glass. And from what I've read, the fantasy paints react really nicely when put up against a vitriol. Now I want to see how all of these behave when mixed in resin. For this pour, I'm going to use the Prism Emerald, the Prism Pearl Violine, which is sort of like their purpley color, the Prism, uh, the Moon Apricot, which is sort of like a peachy color, and then the Vitrail Deep Blue. And then I'm also going to use Perfect Pearl's Perfect Pearl color, which is sort of like their white, and an acrylic paint from Deco Art called Sky Blue Pearl as a blue. For my substrate, I'm using a 6 by 8 inch wooden canvas that I've already gone ahead and painted blue. And for my resin, I'll be using my ClearCast 7050 for no particular reason other than it's the one that I had on hand today. Now I'm off to mix some resin and paint and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, my colors are all mixed up. My canvas is level. So I guess we're gonna start. I have to admit, I am somewhat terrified, but let's do it anyway. All right, so for my base, I'm going to use the vitri, which is that deep blue. That'll be the color that is under everything. At least that's the plan. Some purple. And this one, maybe a little in that one. Definitely some white here. It all. So with the white, I ended up adding a little bit of pinata alcohol ink just to make it whiter than it was. The PBOs react interestingly. They do this sort of feathering lacy thing without even without me doing anything else so far anyway. This is that pale blue. Has a little bit of a pearly quality. Probably hard to capture that on camera. I don't want a lot of the apricot. It's more like a little accent for little spots here and there. A little more white. Of 
green. Maybe a little bit here. Let's see. More purple there. Here. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what else I want to do before I start tilting this. Like where else I want colors. Maybe a little blue. I'm going to start to move it just a little bit to see what happens. Interesting. It's like the top layer moves. And what's interesting too is that the mica, especially I think of that orange, the apricot color, seems to float to the top. See what happens if I torch it. I don't know if these react to heat or the torch in any way, but I guess we'll see. I don't see any real reaction with the torch per se. But I love these little specky cell-like things that are really definitely due to the prism and moon paints. Definitely want more of that deep color. So I'm going to mix a little more of that. And just drizzle it in spots. I don't want a ton of it. I just sort of like borders. Maybe and then what will definitely help it flow is if I use the heat gun. That'll make the resin move a lot. Maybe run off the sides. So the resin is thicker than paint would be, so it stays put for quite some time. Kind of filling in empty spots. All 
All right, time for some heat. Because that will definitely make things that will definitely make things flow. And I will turn down the sound on the heat gun. Interesting. Ooh, I like that. See how it flows so much easier now, now that it's warm. Ooh, and I'm getting the blue back, which is awesome. It's amazing how often it changes. I'm sure that some of you are watching and going, stop! Because <laughs> I know that when I watch videos, I'll be watching something and I'll think, oh, stop right there, it's perfect right there. And then the person will do something and it'll be comp something totally different. But Oops. just coating the sides a little bit. I painted the sides blue, but I want them to be a little shiny a little color. Kind of feel like there isn't enough. It's a little bit of this in some spots. Yeah, I'm calling that done. Very different than I expected. I wasn't sure if there'd be any kind of cell kind of thing that would happen. But this is, this is really interesting. I hope you got something out of it. And I will keep playing and trying new things. Let me know what you think. 
give me a thumbs up if you got something out of it. And please subscribe because there'll be a lot more trying new things, playing with new things. And thank you for watching. Go out and let your creative nature shine. Bye now.